All right, guys. So to get this third off, obviously you're gonna need to open Chrome, and we have Chrome opened. And what you want to do here is type in Discord extension OBS, and it's gonna bring you to this website. I'll have the link in the description, of course. If you guys just want to click in the description, click the link. You want to click that, and depending on what software we you have installed, whether it's Explorer or OBS, uh, you pick one of the two and you click them. So in this case, I have OBS, so I'm going to install it for OBS. Then what you're going to do is pick a channel. So I'm going to pick my channel, and then this is where you can customize, and it shows you what it's going to look like in the end. Um, so display online count, which is how many people are online. Display server icon, which is the picture, of course. Display invite link. Uh, I don't know where that would show. Doesn't even seem to show. I'm not sure what that is about. Uh, white logo. This is where you change Discord logo to white, pur purple, whatever the fuck that is, or black. I personally like it white. Text obviously you can change the color, of course. This is all the text settings, background settings, and so forth. And then once you have finished, as it tells you, you want to copy this link down here. This long ass fucking link. And do control C or right click copy. Um, and this is the status widget. You got the chat widget and you also got the voice widget, widget, widget ugh, which I'm going to be showing you too as well. So you can customize those. Go through here, customize them first, copy them of course, because then this would update. And you want to go to OBS. So this, I'm going to enlarge. Sorry about the multiplying background. You want to go to add and then you want to go down to browser source. Click browser source, type in the name. So in this case, we're going to name it uh, Discord stat. Yeah. Scoot Wage. Wake. Whatever. Hit enter. Um, why did it do that? Properties. And do the control V, copy and paste the thing, boom, and now it should change it to the status widget. And then in this case, you can make it as big as you want. I can enlarge it like this, or you can do a one of T's where you can adjust the width, the height, and whatnot. So that's how you do that. So we're just going to leave that there. Take that away because I hate the multiple windows, but I don't know how else to show you guys. <laughs> And now we're going to pull up the chat widget. Now this is going to be whatever the chat is. Um, so like I said, go around again, changing the text color, making it customizable, copy and paste it, and I'm just going to show you what it looks like. So control C, do the same thing over here where you're going to do the add browser source, which I'll drag the window over here again just to show you. Click add. Um, browser source and this is discord cord chat click ok that time it brought it up click control V then click ok and now it's loading the chat which I'm not sure why it's not maybe it doesn't realize which one to select is my guess Hmm. Okay. Mm yeah, usually it would display text. I'm not sure why it's not doing so. Oh, wait. Here we go. Maybe that's why. Uh, We'll just do that. So now it should display it. After I do a quick properties, maybe I gotta probably change it again. This code is so long. Holy fuck. It's only gonna take me 10 years to delete this. Give me a second, guys. Sorry. Uh, delete that. Come over here again. Get a control C, control V. Okay, there we go. Now it updates. Like I said, again, you can either scale it to what you want, or you can do the uh, the um, the width and the height. 
customize it that way. So now we got the Discord chat working. Now you want to go to the voice memes, and this is where you're going to select whatever voice chat you want. It's not going to do all of them, so if you move between chats, it's obviously not going to show up because it's only detecting one channel at a time. So just to give you an idea of what this does, we're going to do that. Or Yeah. Which one am I in? I'm in that one. I'm pretty sure. No, I'm not even in that one. In that one. There we go. So I'm in that one. We're in the same server. You want to keep that. Uh, customize it again. Small avatar. Show. Speaking user. So it only show if the user is speaking. Um, and basically it's just adjusting the text and background. So once you get dead, I'll saved and changed. Copy and paste. Once again, come over to Discord. Hit the plus sign under the the um, source option, and then click browser if I can find it. Browser uh, voice chat. I'm just gonna name it that. Boom. Control V. Enter. And now I fucked up. Hold on. Let's see if this works. Hello. Am I still in the game room or did I switch? Oh, you guys can't hear me. Uh, hold on one second, guys. I gotta mute myself because I have two mics going on at the same time. Uh, Now it should work. So now you should be able to see the oh fuck wrong wrong window. So we minimize that. So now you should be able to see me in the right hand corner. So when someone talks, you see them talking. So as you can tell, is when I don't talk, it doesn't show it until the person is talking. So this can be cool uh, to show and um. I guess to show off your Discord, if you're looking for viewers to join the Discord and whatnot and show who's in your Discord and whatnot, the chat and stuff. Uh, I probably just use this uh, guy up here and then the uh, status widget. I don't really use the the crew or the, not the crew chat, my god, the um, chat widget for Discord. Uh, just because, like, there's not really any anything I have interesting. But, I don't know, you can miss... Someone can probably find a use for it. Uh, if you guys have any questions, obviously leave them down in the comment section or hit me up on the social media websites. Uh, also provided down in the description below. And yeah, guys, hope this helps. And if you guys got recommendations on a OBS slash Twitch streaming tutorial or you want to know some, also leave that down in the description or hit me up on social media. Thank you for watching. I hope this helped, and I'll see you guys in the next video.